Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a should you read on Robert Asprin's Another Fine Myth, uh, book one in a very large series of short um, satirical comedy fantasy books. The um, interesting thing about these books is that um, you don't have to read them in order. Um, they're kind of their own little self-contained story. Good little quick read, easy because they're so small. You can throw it in a bag when you're heading on, on a plane, going through an airport, um, you know, if you're riding a Greyhound bus, if you still do that, um, or on a train if you're in Europe or somewhere in that area. So cool thing about these is that they just don't take themselves seriously. I'm excited for it. I want to tell you a little bit about the author. Robert Asprin, I think it's Asprin, kind of like the medicine. He is a Michigan alumni, um, lived in Ann Arbor most of his life, served in the, in the Army from 1965 to 1966, back when um, there was only a two-year term of service, kind of like my dad did. Dad was back in like 74, 75. He started his career as an editor for the Thieves World series, which was an anthology that kind of broke new ground in the fantasy genre where a bunch of young up-and-coming authors started in Thieves World in small anthology tales and then moved on to publish their own works. And he edited that for a lot of people and had that going for quite a long time. And in 2008, Robert Asprin died of a heart attack after stopping working. Um, he had some trouble with the IRS. So he quit actually writing for a few years but was doing um, conferences and things like that. And he was about to go speak at a conference. Died of a heart attack while reading a Terry Pratchett novel. Um, I think that's a wonderful, um, just shadow of until his last day, he was a fan of the fantasy genre as much as we were. He enjoyed laughing, he enjoyed comedy. He um, very much um, gave his all in these books. He told funny jokes. He, you know, it, it is a product of the time, you know, you, you're looking late seventies. Um, so, you know, the ladies are chesty, the, um, comedy is a bit raunchy, but it is a fun, fun read. And if you remember that this was written in that time, you're not going to get offended. Um, if you do get offended, just don't pick this one up, but it was great. It was fun to read. These books were also turned into a comic book series, which was really cool. Um, they, you know, drew them out and, and did a really uh, successful comic series for a few years. Uh, I didn't write down how long they were a comic series, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. So, as with all Should You Reads, this is going to be spoiler-free. Um, just basically a friend-to-friend -friend recommendation. Should you read this book, here's how I thought about it. Um, if I would recommend it to you if we were hanging out talking, right? That's what Should You Reads always are. That's what they always will be. A spoiler-free review. So, main character, a uh, kid named Skeev. Uh, he is from Claude, which is pretty much Earth. Um, it's not actually Earth. Um, we have a few different kind of things. There's war unicorns, uh, different dimensional travel. Um, there's magic. Um, but it's a world like Earth. So we start with Skeev. He is a young guy from Claude, which is the dimension most like Earth. He's an apprentice magician for a wizard, and the wizard summons a demon and then immediately dies. So Skeev is stuck with this demon that has um, reptilian skin, um, very sharp teeth, and he knows nothing about it. That's where we start the book. Um, don't want to go much deeper than that. Basically, from this point, the two of them go on a quest. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you because it's a, it's a ton of fun. Easy short read. You should jump into it. I, I, the should you read part of this, I think you should read it. Um, if you enjoy comedy, if you enjoy fantasy, these things will make you giggle. Um, there's great little um, chapter intro, intros. Like... Uh, Chapter five, the only constant and conscientious practice in the martial arts will ensure long and happy life by Bruce Lee. Obviously, that's not true because Bruce Lee died. I'm not explaining a joke to you guys. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that one. Um, careful planning is the key to safe and swift travel, Ulysses. Um, attention to detail is the watchword for gleaning information from an unsuspecting witness, Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> If there's anything in the universe more beautiful and complex 
and for protective than a simple complexity of a spider's web. Charlotte. Um, in times of crises, it is the most important not to lose one's head. Marie Antoinette. Um, man shall never reach his full capacity while chained to the earth. We must take wing and conquer the heavens. Icarus. One of the joys of travel is visiting new towns and meeting new people. Genghis Khan. <laughs> they're just, the little chapter headings are funny. Like, they're, they're, they're an interesting little uh, side tangent where he just makes up a quote from a person and uses it as a joke. Um, and, and they're laced all the way through. Those are more obvious. The, the smaller, more perfunctory jokes are even better. I don't know if that's a real word, perfunctory. Um, so the demon that's summoned in, his name is Oz, A-H-A-Z. He's from the dimension of perv, and he calls himself a, a pervect, but everyone else calls him a pervert. And so whenever they see him, they're like, oh, it's a pervert. <laughs> This book's great. Like, so many great puns. Like, puns for days. It's it's fantastic. You guys gotta read this book. Right after the intro, we go on a quest. Normal type of, let's go defeat the bad wizard. Um, Skeev is an apprentice magician, so as we go, we learn what the magic can do. It's, it's a neat little entry point. We're running along with Skeev, and Skeev is our entry point to the world. Kind of get his perspective, kind of... I guess a little like Harry Potter, but um, it was first, so it wins. Just a couple things we're going to come into. We have evil wizards. We have devils. We have imps. We have dragons, assassins, war unicorns, demon hunters, interdimensional travel. Um, so much humor. It is such a fantastic little book. Um, I picked it up for um, $1.99 at Half Price Books. You can listen to the audiobook for free on YouTube. It's like there's 10 people that have already um, downloaded the audiobook onto YouTube. You can find it for cheap and easy. I'll throw a link down for Amazon if you want it. If you don't, don't even worry about it. But uh, for me, it is a definite should you read. Um, obviously, 70s humor. Um, if, if you're easily offended, this is not for you because um, it's the kind of stuff that Richard Pryor was doing back then. It's the kind of stuff that um, really, really um, doesn't, isn't afraid to make fun of itself. And that's the best kind of humor, I think, where it says, I understand what I am, I understand why this would be funny. And it delves in it so well and so deeply, and I am so excited. Hopefully somebody else picks this book up. Um, it's fantastic. I might even give it back to my local library. I don't know, it's pretty tore up. Um, the, the one that I've got is, is not the, the best copy, but maybe I'll just hang on to it and let my kids read it when they get a little bit older. They're not ready for it yet. What a, what a fun book. Guys, go ahead and join the Discord. Great stuff on there. I'm adding fan art every day. I'm throwing book recommendations like this one. Got some in-depth discussions coming in, and I'm finally going to get around to do the um, magic system for Lightbringer. I'm, 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 I'm getting it out. I have everything ready, have the script ready, have the pictures ready. I just got to film it uh, and lace it all together. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts. I've never made a video like this before. I'm not the best editor, but I'm excited to jump into it. Um, if you want, I'll have all my social medias down in the description. I got Twitter, Discord. Um, uh, that's it, right? Yeah. Uh, Goodreads. Goodreads. So, love you guys. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.